Hey guys, Arif here, how's it going and welcome back. Usually we've taken a look at plenty of gaming peripherals but they usually cost upwards of $100. Today guys, we have your back and we're taking a look at something more budget for you. Today we have the Marvel Tech Scorpion M315 with the G1 gaming mouse pad. Starting off with the design, the ergonomic design, I would say, I would score this an 8.5 or 9 out of 10 because it is very, very comfortable despite the price. As you can see, my ring finger and pinky finger are nicely supported which I like to see on a lot of mouse designs especially if I want to get lazy and don't really want to grip my mouse so tightly pretty neat on my thumb right here there's a space for me to grip which is very nice I don't really touch the button at the top right here and there's an extension down there to prevent my thumb from touching the surface when I'm gliding pretty sweet here's the front and back button and the button right here it registers as a double click so for people who play mobile games like League of Legends they will press once and you register as the double click as we will usually press a lot of times to make sure that we register the click properly which is nice the click buttons right here they are much harder and much uh, stiffer than my G502 and the actuation weight is slightly higher though it's okay for most of this price and I don't have anything to complain about it and then the scroll right here well it's very usable here we get a button which is actually a DPI switch button and it will change the LEDs according to which DPI you choose. There are three settings, 800, 1200 and 1600 maximum. So here you go, it changes from green, yellow and red. So yeah, well, who actually buy this mouse or who actually benefit from buying this mouse? Well, it's people who are playing, let's say, Dota 2, League of Legends, Heroes of the Storm, but they're not one to get too serious into gaming, but they want to try something from the gaming scene. Well, I would say it's very good for a mouse like this to exist. 50 ringgit is like a trial. And if you like it, you want to expend more money, you can go ahead and buy much more expensive gear. Well, for CSGO and Overwatch, I find this a little bit sufficient even at 1600 DPI. It's okay, but it will require more accurate tracking, especially for people who like to flick in CSGO. I wouldn't recommend a mouse like this, but for a budget-friendly mouse for Dota, League of Legends, I would say it's a very good choice. Cables are braided as well, not the expensive type, but still good enough. Bottom here, you get four pads and the sensor is right there with a DPI saying DPI 1600 and that's it for the Marvel mouse. Now we get the G1 gaming mouse pad. So yeah, it includes together with the mouse, which is a nice touch because people can get to feel what a gaming mouse pad feels like because I've been using my table for all this time. So it's a very nice touch by Marvel Tech. So it's a cloth mouse pad with a rubber backing down there, which is textured and it doesn't have stitching on the side here. So it may fray in the future, but for the price, 50 ringgit, I wouldn't actually complain about it and I would say it's a good thing that companies are coming up with budget-friendly gaming mice for people to try. And then as well, if they make higher in the line gaming products, people may buy into it. So yeah, making gaming products which are cheap is also good for the market. Well, that has been my review of the M315 and the G1. And yeah, what will I say about the G1? Nothing much because gaming mouse pads, we've tried uh, plenty of them and most of them are similar regardless of quality. The only details such as no stitching or maybe silicone back are the only things that actually worry people. Other than that, I would say for 50 ringgit, you shouldn't be complaining. It's a very good product. It's very comfortable. It's very usable for most games. Just that if you want to flick around or play high intensity FPS, I wouldn't recommend this. And that has been my review of the Marvel Tech M315 Scorpion along with the G1 Gaming Mousepad. I hope you like it. Do like our video, comment, subscribe, as well as check out kevinpixels.com for our written reviews. That's about it for this, guys. Thank you. See you next time.